Hi friends, it's me, Miss Chacon. We are back. Today is Monday and we're going to be doing a very fun lesson on problem solving. But before we do that, I wanted to show you our plans for the week. So if you go to Class Dojo, so you'll go to Class Dojo, it'll be posted right here on Class Story, and then it'll take you to something that looks like this. And here are our plans for the week. So you'll be able to see that today we're doing problem solving and we're reading a book called The Good Egg. You're really going to like this book, my friends. It's one of my favorite books ever. Um, but before I get ahead of myself, um, we have, this is the, these are the plans for the whole week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Also, um, if you've been watching our growth mindset videos from Class Dojo, here's a link to episode three. So what you can do is just click on it when you get to this page. You just click on this blue line right here, and it'll take you to a fun episode from Class Dojo. Okay? And lastly, if you want to look at this picture right here, it says the more you read, the more you know, the more you learn, the more places you'll go. And that's from Dr. Seuss. So just remember that the more we read, the more we know, and the more we learn, and the more places we get to go, the places you get to go in your mind through your imagination. So just a little reminder to keep reading, friends. You're doing such a great job at home, okay? And also, here's the plans in English, and here are the plans in Spanish. So for your parents who, um, who only read in Spanish, it's right here for them, okay? All right, so let's take a look at our math. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is problem solving. So the carrot is less than 10 cubes long. It is more than 2 cubes long. How many cubes long is the carrot? So we know that the carrot is less than 10 cubes. And because that's something we know, we underline it. Remember, we underline the things that we know. So the carrot is less than 10 cubes long, and it's more than 2 cubes long. So it's more than 2, but it's less than 10. Then it's saying about how many cubes long is the carrot. And that's the question, so we circle the question, something we need to find. So we need to find how long the carrot is. We know it's shorter than 10, but it's longer than 2. So what we're going to do is we underlined and circled, now we're gonna see how will I solve the problem. So, I know that it's shorter than 10, and I know that it's longer than two. If I draw like maybe two right here, because I know that it's gonna be longer than two, I know that it's longer than two here, but I don't know how long it'll be. And my blocks aren't all the same size. So what we have to do is we have to guess. Um, so, what we did here is our friends here guessed that it could be about four, about four cubes. Now, the reason we guess is because we're trying to see if we know how long something is. So, the first thing we do is guess. So, they guessed, you know what, this is about two. Um, it may be two more blocks, so let's guess that it'll be a four. And remember, a guess does not always have to be right. A guess is a guess. It's just helping us learn. So remember, if it's not, if our guess is not correct, that is okay. We're still guessing and checking, okay? So we guessed about four. Now let's try it out and see if it's actually four. So one, two, three, four. Oh, here's four. So it's not four. It's five. So... It measures at about five. So we weren't that off. We guessed that the carrot would be about four. So our guess was about four and our measurement was about five. So we were really close. We were only off by one and that's how you know it's a good guess. A good guess is not a right guess. A good guess is something that's very close to the actual number, okay? So let's go to the next page. Let's practice the strategy. So, we're going to read this. It says, the container is less than nine cubes long. 
So this container here is less than nine cubes long. That's something we know, so we're underlining it. But it's more than one cube long. So the container is less than nine, but more than one. And then they're asking us about how long is the container. So because we know that it's more than one cube long, I'm gonna draw one cube so that we see, okay? So here's one cube. This thing is longer than one cube. The container is longer than one cube. So I'm guessing that maybe this container is about three cubes. Now remember, a guess is just we're estimating. We're seeing, we're, we're eyeballing it, and I'm saying, you know, maybe I can fit two more here. So one, two, three. I can fit two more blocks. Maybe it's three blocks long, okay? Now, it's our, so we already guessed. We guessed that it would be three. Now we're going to measure it. So let's see. So we have one, two, three, four. So it's more like about four. It measures at about four. And remember, these aren't exact measurements. They are going to be off just a little bit, but that's why we guess. That's why we're just trying to figure out what it almost is. So this is almost at about four blocks. So that's our answer. And you see how we're very close to the actual answer. So let's try this corn now. So how long should we guess? Um, I would say, mm, let's guess about five, yeah? Maybe we can do one, two, sorry about that friends if you're hearing my refrigerator. Sometimes my refrigerator makes loud noises. So um, let me guess about five. So I'm gonna put five. And if you have a different guess, that's totally okay. If you're thinking, Miss Chacon, this looks more to me about six, or it looks more like seven, that is okay. A guess is based off of what you think. Not what I think, but what you think, okay? So we're guessing that it's gonna be about five. Now let's try measuring it. So I'm gonna draw the boxes over it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can draw one more, but it'll go over, see? So I don't wanna do that because we don't wanna go over our answer. So, give me one second. So what we're gonna do it's not about, so, it's not about four, it's not about five, it's actually measuring at about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's actually at seven, oh, let me change that color. So it's actually at seven, not five. So we were off by about two. Now if you're, saying, Miss Chacon, I didn't think it was five, I thought it was seven, or I thought it was six, then great job, you're good at guessing how long something is. And that's a great talent, because then we know, oh, you're, we, we know how long something is, and being able to measure something is a great skill. So now, let's measure this broccoli. I'm gonna say this is about three blocks. So I can do maybe one, two, three right there. So I'm gonna say this is about three blocks, okay? So let's try it. So one, two, three. Look at that. So sometimes, friends, your guess is the same exact thing as your the actual measurement. So sometimes it's the same exact answer. I guessed about three. And it turned out to actually be three blocks. So sometimes I'm good at eyeballing it and guessing right here, but in the longer ones, it's harder for me to guess. So it just depends, but it's just about taking a good guess, okay? So for this one, I'll say it's about five. 
And you may ask, how do you think five? It looks like six or it looks like seven. If you think it looks like about maybe seven, then you can go ahead and write that. But I'm gonna say, let's guess it at around five, okay? So we're guessing at about five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we were only off by one this time. So it measured at about six in what well, our guess was about five. So we weren't off that much, which is pretty good. Okay, now let's review the strategies. The pea pod is more than one cube. So we know that the pea pod is more than one cube long. We know that, okay? It's less than four cubes long. So it's more than one, but it's less than four. About how many cubes long is the pea pod? So we need to guess a number that's longer than one, but less than four. So I think maybe it's gonna be at around three. Maybe we can fit three here. So let's say it's three, okay? This is our guess. This is not our answer, this is just our guess, okay? So we know it's gonna be longer than one, so I'm gonna draw one right here. One, two, three, look at that. So this P is, this P pod is three units long. It's not, it's, and that's true because our P is supposed to be longer than one, but shorter than, than four. So that means that we are right. It's about three. It may not be exactly three, but it's just about three. Okay, a watermelon grows one cube longer each day. So each day, this is something we know, each day that passes, the watermelon grows one cube longer. On Monday, it, has, it was six cubes long. How many cubes long will the watermelon be on Wednesday? So this is what we need to find out. So we know that with every day that passes, the watermelon grows by one cube. And it starts on Monday being six cubes long. So on Tuesday, how long is it going to be? If it grows by one every day, here it starts at six. If, it, if we add one more cube to it, how long will the watermelon be? Well, on Tuesday, I know that if I add one to six, because it grows by one, we're going to get seven. And on Wednesday, it's gonna grow again, because every day that passes, it grows by one cube. So on Tuesday, it's at seven. We're gonna add one more to seven because it grew again. So now seven plus one is eight. So the watermelon will be about eight cubes long on Wednesday. Make sense? All right. So number six says, Sergio picks a bean that is five cubes long. So he picked a bean that's five cubes long. Perla picks a bean that is two cubes long. How much longer is the bean that Sergio picked? So we're asking how much longer is the bean that Sergio picked? So we know Sergio's bean was five cubes long and we know Perla's P was two cubes long. And we're trying to figure out how much longer is five than two. So if we're trying to figure out how much longer something is, are we going to add them or subtract them? So we're trying to find the difference between the two. We're trying to find the difference between five and two. When we talk about difference, is difference subtraction or addition? So it's going to be subtraction. So you're gonna subtract two from five, so five take away two, and your answer, you're going to put it right here, okay? And you're going to tell me how much longer is the bean that Sergio picked. All right, my friends, 
So that's it for today. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, stay well, and I will see you all on Wednesday for our Zoom call. Bye.